Hello, welcome to the Manjula Awakening. So we are going to see if, should you stay or should you go? This is going to be for any and everyone dealing with a Scorpio. We're starting with Scorpio because it is Scorpio's birthday season. But let's get in and see what's going on. Spirit, for the people dealing with Scorpio, what is the crowning energy? So the crowning energy is grief and honesty. It says, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. And it says, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So anyone dealing with the Scorpio, I, I'm feeling as if this is a situation that you maybe have already left from. And with this coming out from the crowning energy, I kind of feel like that... Um, you might have made the right decision. Um, it's someone is the Scorpio is understanding that, you know, mm, the, I guess they, they didn't appreciate you when they had the opportunity is really what I'm feeling. Alrighty. So for the people dealing with the Scorpio spirit, the question here is, should they stay or should they go? Alrighty, let's see, Spirit. What's going on? So we have the Six of Cups and the Ace of Swords. We have the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Then we have the full card. Okay. <laughs> and at the bottom of the deck, we have justice. So definitely something balancing out. Um, the action step to be taken, I do feel like that you're going to be taking a leap of faith elsewhere, if I'm just being all the way honest. Um, but let's just look at this connection and break it down, shall we? So for what needs to change if you stay within this connection the six of cups so there is there there needs to be some clearing up some truth and some clarity on the way that past situations played out there's this energy of one if not both people inside of this connection possibly being stuck in the past um the arguments need to change um, the fact that you guys don't see eye to eye, there definitely has to be some type of clarity received within the two of you all. Um, however, I, I have to be honest here and say that with this, uh, the action step for you to take, if you're dealing with the Scorpio is to take a leap of faith and have a new beginning. Um, I really do feel like that, you know, this could, I mean, they are leaping towards this way. So, um, but let's look, if you go. Uh, we have the two of coins and the two of cups. I definitely feel like that there is an opportunity to have a balanced connection elsewhere. Um, the lesson that need, if you do go, the lesson that needs to be learned, the purpose of this uh, connection was this uh, to illuminate this imbalance within oneself. It was to help you find balance and help you to be to better acknowledge what your true resources are so that you can really use those to your advantage and not um, really have those taken advantage of. And um, it, how to let go. I feel like that how to let go if you release this connection with the two of cups being here for that. I really do feel that this is saying um I just feel like this is saying, allow yourself to gain clarity and, and find happiness in the time that you guys did share together. The the good pieces is what you need to move forward with and release any and everything else. Got a vibration off of my phone on that. So um, that's what I'm getting. If you're dealing with a, a Scorpio, I do feel like that there is this need to take a 
to um, to take a leap of faith elsewhere. But let's do one round of clarifying. We're only at five minutes. Let's break this down. Let's get some clarity for the people dealing with Scorpio spirit. Should they go or should they stay? Can you please help us gain more clarity on the Six of Cups and the Ace of Swords for if they stay with Scorpio? What needs to change is the Six of Cups. And I definitely feel like that there are some immature energies, you know, some immaturities, uh, immature arguments. There's just a lot going on here. And uh, that there definitely needs to be a sense of clarity brought to that. We have the Knight of Swords in the reverse to the Six of Wands. Absolutely. In order to have victory here, um, one is going to have to address this uh, aggressive energy, this forceful, impulsive actions. You, um, I, I, I don't know. I feel like that if I can be honest with the crowning energy that came out, um, grief and honesty. Um, I just feel like that in order to really appreciate what this commitment was to you for Scorpio, it is going to require you to leave this person behind. The, I don't feel as if this person is going to be able to cut through the fog and really see what it is that you truly brought to them or what it is that your connection really is to them. And until they have this time alone, okay? Because I do feel as if there's someone in this connection that is very, very impulsive and mature. Uh, they think, I mean, they, they, they move without thinking. And, and that, is, that is causing some loss here. Oh, Lord have mercy. That is definitely causing some loss here. I definitely feel some arrogancy coming from this energy. Okay, let's get that out of there, Spirit. What else does this person dealing with Scorpio need to know if they stay? The Four of Pentacles in the reverse. I, I'm not sure this person is going to uh, be willing to... There's definitely going to be a need to release the past. I'm just not sure if anybody is here at that time. Let me move forward to what looks like there could be something new coming in, to be honest. Yeah. After a time of healing, after you move forward, I do feel as if there's going to be a new connection that comes in. And it's it's going to, there's also some repressed emotions that have to be balanced out. And I feel like that that's exactly what this connection with this Scorpio was meant to do. You know, Scorpio is that transformative energy anyways. So if you're dealing with the Scorpio, nine times out of ten, there's something in your life that needs to transform um, within whatever dynamic that Scorpio is in your life. And right here, what I'm seeing is I am seeing some repressed emotions as it pertains to maybe you're not speaking up and really speaking your authentic truth about what it is that you truly want inside of connections. So it, it walks you into connections that allow you to be taken advantage of is, is what I feel. Uh oh, let me not do that. Let me not do that. All right, spirit. What else can you what else can you give us on this if uh this person dealing with Scorpio moves forward? If they go. What else can okay? I know that's right. Uh the two of swords in the reverse. There's a lot of twos here. So I feel like there's gonna be some options and decisions down later on down the path that are gonna be more fulfilling. But it does come after a time of healing. With um the four of swords and the two of swords, this is most definitely the six of swords. So there is this transition that is needing to take place. But make sure that when you're in this four of swords energy, that you're that you're seeing the truth clearly of seeing situations as they really are, um, realizing some truths within oneself and, and how you show up in connections, but definitely make sure that you're not skimming past the reflective parts of this um, 
transitioning forward into a new connection. I am being honest. I know I'm talking really fast. Anyone watching this reading dealing with the Scorpio, I am letting you know that there is a, a very powerful connection here. Every time I get close to even this two of cups, I kind of like stutter and I flutter. So I do feel as if that there is a new connection that is coming in that is going to feel very strong and very balanced. Uh, but there is this slight energy of not catching it and missing out on the opportunity because there is a choice here. So make sure that you're not choosing to, to prolong this healing phase because I feel like that you could possibly miss an opportunity at a very powerful connection. So let's get some closing words from Spirit. And as I'm shuffling these to get your closing message, I do want to say that we are having a giveaway, guys. Every tarot deck, I mean, every deck that we use today, with the exception of this, is part of the giveaway. All you, all that we ask that you do is hit the subscribe button. That's it. That's all. And as long as you are publicly subscribed, you will be entered in once we reach 1,000 subscribers. All right, Spirit, what is the closing message here for anyone dealing with a Scorpio? Should they go or should they go? Thank you. It says your words create worlds. So I feel like that what you, the life that you speak into this and, and especially with this situation over here, I do feel like that there's going to be an opportunity to close this up um, with this person. You know, closure is our responsibility for ourselves. But I do feel the energy of this person at some point in time in their journey welcoming closure and it's going to come after a time of this person feeling like they lost you. So once don't speak any ill will into this situation over here, offer as much clarity as you can be mindful of your actions and the words that you speak, because they are the makings of this person. They are the things that are going to clear the path for this person to come back around for you to clear the karmic energy attached to this person. I do feel like it is going to be once you are already in a significant connection and that will leave you with a decision, which is why this is saying don't ignore any truths are revealed to you in this four of swords energy so that you don't move on too fast or so that you don't feel like that there's any unresolved issue and miss out on this new connection because you reconcile with someone back here with this Scorpio energy. Alrighty, guys, I pray that these uh, messages provided you with some guidance on your journey. If these messages did resonate, we would absolutely appreciate a thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, guys, let's choose peace, love and light.